Hello everyone, this is Coach Ace and um, I am an OFW so this message goes out to all OFWs and even not OFWs too, it will also um, be beneficial to you. There are actually three things that I would like to suggest that you do um, because I was also doing it myself and this has proven to be so effective for me. Usually, kasi marami sa atin na nagtatrabaho sa ibang bansa, um, ayaw pa natin umuwi, di ba? Kasi di pa sapat yung naiipon natin. Pinaka worst is wala pa talaga tayong naiipon even uh, though ang iba matagal na sa abroad, di ba? Pero hanggang ngayon hindi pa din sapat yung naiipon. <laughs> All right. And so, uh, I would like to tell you, and everybody knows this, right? Hindi naman forever may lakas tayo para magtrabaho. Eventually, um, uuwi at uuwi din tayo. Kaya I would say that right now, right now, I do encourage you to take the first step. Let's devise an investment plan. Bakit? <laughs> Isasasabihin ko sa inyo mamaya. Bakit devising an investment plan is actually what my advice for you. All right, but you will know a bit later. So let's prioritize and just do it. The first thing I suggest you do is invest in businesses. Hindi mo kailangan ang malaking kapital, ang malaking pera para makapagsimula. Just do your research. OFW naman, may kinikita tayo buwan-buwan, di ba? Kahit nasa palagay mo, hindi sapat yung pera mo, there are always, always ways and um, businesses that you can just uh, join or start without even spending too much money. And there are also some businesses na hindi mo kailangang mag-invest ng sarili mong pera. Alright? Just like dropshipping, like there are so many things that we can actually uh, delve in para kumiti ng pera I, hindi yung ano ha? <laughs> hindi yung monkey business real business all right so what i uh, suggest you do is do your research first ano ba si palagay mo yung bagay sa kakayahan mo pagtuunan mo ng oras ang pag-i-enhance paghahasa kumpaka sa kakayahan mo at higit sa lahat higit sa lahat manalangin manalangin ka para sa guidance ni Lord okay and another one is invest in your retirement sabi nga sa kanta tatanda at lilipas din ako which is true marami na nga ngayong mga financial institutions at mga banko na they're offering retirement plans Kailangan mo yan. Kailangan natin lahat yan. Ang dami na nating nakita ng mga um, sad stories kumbaga na pagdating ng, um, ng araw na tumanda yung isang tao and wala siyang handang pera, mas naghirap pa. Alam mo yun, nakaka, nakakalungkot. Sobrang nakakalungkot yun. At ayaw naman natin na mangyari din yun sa atin, di ba? So, kailangan natin paghandaan yung kinabukasan natin. Sigurado ako, ayaw mong maging pabigat din sa pamilya mo. Di ba? Kahit sino man sa kanila. Anak, or apo, kahit sino. Kapatid. At so, sa isip mo, di ka naman papabayaan ng mga taong to kasi siyempre pamilya mo, di ba? Pero, it's good to have sense of security kahit sa ganitong paraan. Paunti-unti, invest in your retirement. One thing is for sure, anyway, God is always with us. He holds the future. I would also say, invest in insurance policies. I saw in the news just a few months ago, na may OFW na pumunta siya ng disco dito sa ibang bansa. Nag-disco siya along with other OFWs. Din, no? Kasi, Usually, parang pampalipas ng oras, saka sa sobrang ano ng trabaho siguro, kailangan nila na magre-relax. So, yung pang-relax nila is yung pumupunta sa disco, 
na, na nakakapag-meet ng ibang tao. The sad uh, thing was right there sa bar na pinagdidiskuhan nila, she had a heart attack. In the news, it was reported na nine years na na siya na hindi umuwi ng Pilipinas. At sa tagal ng panahon na yon, di niya pa, di, di niya nakakapiling yung anak niya. Kasi nga, hindi niya, hindi, hindi siya makauwi ng Pinas, ayaw niyang umuwi ng Pinas, kasi baka hindi na siya makabalik. Baka, ano, sakit. Um, kasi, totoong pangyayari yun eh. Nakita ko talaga in one of my group, uh, Uh, chats na yun nga ang nangyari. May video pa nga na nasa ambulansya siya. Yung kasama niya, umiiyak. God forbid, kung mangyari yung ganung sitwasyon and um, wala kang maiiwan sa pamilya mo, ang saklat naman. At ang sakit nun, apiktado lahat. So please, please, I beg of you, don't think about yourself alone. Investing in insurance policies is not throwing away your money. Tomorrow is not promised to anyone. So, help yourself. Okay? Help yourself. Sana, um, pagkatapos mong napanood tong video na to, you would start um, planning. Devise your investment plan. God bless you. Um, may God grant you the desires of your heart to have faith in Him. Be faithful to Him. Be faithful to Him. And He will be more than faithful to you. Goodbye and God bless.